What drew me to Wheaton's grad school and education was the professionalism of the faculty, those that worked for the U.S. Department of Education um, before coming here, and those that are executive directors of boards of schools. The MAT program is small. There's 13 of us this year, and we have seven faculty. And so that's a two to one ratio of student to faculty. And so you really get to know the faculty that you have really well. That's probably the biggest plus. If you go to a research university, you may not know them as well. You'll know their research really well, and you'll probably know their TA really well. But here, we actually have class with our professors, and we talk to our professors on a daily basis. Um, and they're constantly mentoring us, pouring into us, um, really wanting us to be great teachers. What we seek to do at the graduate level in the Department of Education is we seek to prepare teacher scholars. I want individuals who are called by Jesus Christ to embody him in hands and feet in these classrooms, to be able not only to teach with excellence, they're able to ask questions and be able to frame them in terms of research questions. There's never a point in our program where you are solely doing practice without the theory or solely doing theory without the practice. We place them as a teacher aide in a local school so that they come back after spending three hours a week working in a classroom and we talk about how do you see these theories, how do you see Piaget's cognitive theory displayed in the classroom. So there's always a theory into practice. I once heard it said that teaching is a valid response to the gospel. And so to be developed spiritually really comes down to how does the gospel work its way out in my classroom? What are the ways that I can relate to my students based off of the good news about Jesus Christ? Or how do I teach mathematics based off of the Lordship of Jesus Christ? When our students pursue uh, their field of study and their vocation, it is truly with the mind first and foremost that they are our disciples of Jesus Christ. They are on a mission field called the school and that they are to enter that mission field and, and to be able to represent Jesus Christ uh, and his kingdom in all that they do.